lot of requests to work on some nogi stuff so we're going to do this series of videos in nogi. Remember, uh, it doesn't mean that you can't do them in a gi, uh, just today we're going nogi. Uh, we're going to start off looking at turtle, how to dominate turtle, how to secure the position, uh, advance our position. One of the things that I see is people really rush to uh, set their hooks so we're going to look at an alternative uh, option today starting with the ankle. So I've caught Josh into this turtle position, whether I was passing his guard and he, he turtled or he's fat and he wants to rest. Uh, it doesn't matter. We need to start looking at breaking him down. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I'm not dominating up here on the body, that I'm dominating down here by the hips. It'll give us a little bit more option to leg ride, uh, but more importantly, it will make sure that we can stay outside of the inside of the legs. Outside of the inside of the legs. Yes, that's right. Okay. So my hand is going to come in here and it's going to grab nice and low. Don't go over the top of the, the butt here because you won't have enough arm. Uh, not all the time. I'm a lot larger than Josh. So always you'll have enough arm if you go around the outside. You can see that when I have this ankle, a lot of times I'll try and see what he's going to do. My knee is trapped over here by his other ankle and then I'll just simply lift it. If I lift it, he has a couple of options. The first option, what he just did there, was stay nice and tight, keep his arms tucked and his head didn't come up. I don't know why, but we can check the door if there's an option for it. If I lift up on this and he lifts his chin, which is dumb, we can come straight underneath the chin. Turn. This doesn't deserve its own video because it doesn't happen a lot, but his head's down, my knee's chalked on the inside, I've got hold of that ankle, whether you want to come here, and when I lift, he lifts his head, zonk, right underneath. Okay, and then, then you just start choking the fool out of him, we don't need to do anything else. But from here, he both, uh, posts on his head and he gives me uh, uh, a little bit of resistance. The good news is that if he doesn't put, lift his head, he compensates by lifting his bottom. I lifted his bottom. That gives you a little pocket of space. Turn, Josh. By the way. So he's here, nice and tight, tight turtle. Okay. When I lift, if he doesn't lift his head, there's a little bit of space that comes in there. No gi, that space is really easy to get. So I'm going to place my hand in, palm down, and I'm going to grab between the shin Okay, or excuse me, between the calf and the thigh. It needs to be in a, a palm down position. So that arm's gonna come through. Turn, 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 turn. So I've lifted, so I've lifted, my hand comes through, I let off the brake just a little bit to get control of that. Now you can see my chest is angled towards his shoulders. I don't want it to angle towards his shoulders. I'm gonna turn my whole belly button, everything away, so that my shoulder is in the crook of his hip. I'll show you in a different angle in a second. From here, I push, and I'm going to give him my best baby seal. You can see my hips stayed low. Very important that my pelvis is all the way on the floor. If I give any space at all, he's going to start. Whoop, he's going to start getting his legs back into the game. So whether I pin his knee is going to decide what I do. From here, I can let go of the hand that's through, not the one on the ankle. It starts to come up here towards my cross face. I'm going to start walking my hips nice and tight, nice and tight. Nothing dynamic about this. I grab that ankle. I lift. The arm comes through, four fingers on the calf, I put the shoulder, you can see I've tilted my body. From here it'll allow me to drive my whole body, boom, pelvis drops to the floor. Make sure to trap, dragging, I can take out the hand that's on the inside right here. Not the one on the outside of the ankle, I want to keep the, the legs trapped. From here, I'm dragging, I'm dragging, and up. He kept his head down, okay. There's a pocket. My hand goes through, four fingers. Switch, put my shoulder on, and drive. Pelvis goes nice and low. From here, I can take my arm out. This one stays on the ankle, though, because it'll allow me to keep his legs together. Again, different angle. Head this way. Lifting. My arm goes through. Trapping. Turn my shoulder. Drive with my whole body. Control. Pelvis is low. Control. Lift. Come up into a good side control position. This is the first in the series, so if you want to see how to go to get the back, watch the next video.